What's up, three squad? It's your boy Dev, and I am back at you with another prize picks video. This is going to be for Sunday night, uh, week 13 NFL's games. Uh, I'm going to jump to this video. Basically, I'm going to let you guys know which picks I like the most, but I got a lot of decent most picks for you guys. A lot of decent picks for you guys. Sorry, a little tired. Got a lot of picks for you guys, but we're just going to jump into it. So, um, first, I got Kenny Pickens for the 229.5 passing yards. Then I have. Um, Deshaun Watson for the 247.5 passing yard. This one I'm kind of skeptical about, just with a lot of a uh, lot of uh, stuff going on with his practicing since he's been back. Um, they got like a lot of videos of him coming, complete passes and stuff like that. So they're playing against Houston. You would think they uh, have a good scheme for him. I don't think he'll cover the 247 passing points. I mean passing yards. I think he'll hit at least under. He'll probably get a he'll probably get a better rushing performance than he'll do um, passing. In my opinion, I feel like he's gonna have to run the ball a couple times just for the simple fact that I just don't think the communication is there between him and other receivers. So that's why I, um, I won't be playing any of those receivers, any of the uh, Cleveland receivers in this uh, round. But then you we never know. Sometimes they could just be the hype of what they want you to think, and then he could probably perform more. But since this is his first game back, um, I'm kind of going to shy away from the uh, taking the over on that 247 passing yards, even though that's a lot. It's not that he's not capable of it. It's just like we don't know right now. So then next I have Trevor Lawrence for the 252, uh, 252 passing yards, and I also like his 33.5 uh, passing attempts. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I forget who they're playing. Oh, yeah, they're play I think they're playing um, Detroit. And Detroit, as we all know, give up a lot of passing yards. So that's why I felt comfortable with playing that over on both of those. Um, they're going to try to pass the ball more. Everybody that plays Detroit plays the ball more because Detroit give up a lot of passing. So um, that's why I'm taking over on that. Then we got Tua Tangaloa, 270.5 passing yards. And I also like his 1.5 passing touchdowns. Um, this is another matchup that I'm kind of um, I kind of like as well with the uh, – with the stats given, I believe Tua is like three out of five on these passing yards. Then he had the best two receivers in the game, so there's no uh, way he won't be, you know, covering that. But like you said, we never know. Um, they're more like a pass dominant team going so going forward, so um, that's why I kind of feel the comfort the comfort on the 1.5 passing touchdowns. They, uh, I believe he had that as well, like three out of, three out of five. Then we got Patrick Mahomes for the 360, not 306. 306 Point five passing yards, and I also like his 1.5 uh, passing touchdowns as well. Um, as we are, and I like his fantasy points too. I think his fantasy points is at like 24.5. Um, Patrick Mahomes gonna gonna do it all. This is gonna be a game, a, a matchup that is gonna be back and forth with them and um, them and the um, the Bengals. So I feel like it's gonna be a back and forth matchup. So that way, I know the ball is gonna be distributed out more. It's gonna be more passing because the game is gonna be close. Um, so that's why I'm taking Patrick Mahomes for the 306.5 passing over. And I also like the touchdowns and the fantasy score. Then we got Saquon Barkley for the 18.5 uh, rushing attempts. And I like his 0 0.5 passing, rushing, or reception touchdowns. Um, I like his fantasy points as well. Um, Saquon Barkley haven't been, you know, doing as much as we should be expecting. But with the matchup given, I feel like um, he can, you know, kind of shine a little bit in this uh, matchup. Next, we got Tony Prowler for the six, 63.5 uh, rushing yards. And I also like his two receptions. So he just got to catch uh, three passes. I, um, I believe they're going to, I don't know, I kind of feel that they're going to throw the ball to him a little bit more. I think most of the time he either gets two or he gets over two. So um, you probably won't, you know, lose on that one. I'm playing it. Like I say, all these picks that I give you guys, I'm playing. Then um, we got, we got, um, I'm sorry, guys. We got Justin Field for the 67.5 rushing. And uh, Justin Field's coming back from that torn ligament in his shoulder, his, his non-throwing shoulder. But as we already know, they don't really run the ball. I mean, they don't really, he don't really throw the ball as much. So, like, his passing yards always be kind of low. But it's not really low for him because they don't he don't throw the ball as much. He's gonna gonna kinda run the ball. Then right now with this shoulder injury, I feel like he's gonna definitely be running the ball more. If as soon as they press him or they give him any kind of 
any kind of push, he's going to take off running. So I like the 67.5 rushing. Then we got Zeke Elliott for the 55.5 rushing uh, yards. I like that as well. Zeke is 4 out of 5 right now with the rushing yards. Since he came back, he's still been, you know, they've been balancing out the snaps with him and Tony. So I feel like he's going to still get his uh, his line of snaps in. Zeke is always that uh, need to get some yardage need to get some yardage of plays uh, and then also when it's time to stretch the clock he's always going to be the one in to stretch the clock then we got Darius <laughs> Ooh, excuse me we got Darius Slayton for the 46.5 reception and he is 5 out of 5 but he's one of my top 5 I've been playing him in my last couple games as well he's 5 out of 5 taking that lead role as that top receiver and then we got St. Brown Amon St. Brown from Detroit for the 74.5 reception yards. He's three out of five on that. Um, but this matchup, I like the uh, chance of him getting over. Every time he get over, it's like 100 plus more yards. So I like that on that. Then we have Christian uh, Watson, the receiver from Green Bay. He's been having a great couple of last games, to be honest. Uh, they got him listed for 47.5 receptions. Uh, I guess they're kind of feeling like this is just uh, a little phase going on. They don't really trust trust uh, him getting over on that. But lately, he's been getting over on that just because he have a lot of big breakout uh, receptions. Then we got Jalen Waddle for the 68.5 receptions. I don't even got to explain with that one. They have top two receivers. They surpassed team well over there in Miami. Then we got Brandon from the uh, San Francisco 49ers, 55.5. Receptions, he's uh four out of five on that, I believe, as well. Travis Kelsey, 80.5, uh, 80 80 80.5 receptions, he's four out of five on that one as well. Um, that's one I like as well for my top five. I like also like uh Watson for my top five. I forgot to say that, guys. Then we got um T Higgins, 66.5 receptions. Uh, Jamar Chase is likely to be playing again. But I feel like with him being out there, it's just going to be more of a, like, a, you know, decoy, decoy player. Like, he's going to get the ball thrown to him some. Don't get me wrong because he's their top receiver. But they're playing the Chiefs. It is going to be a back-and-forth game, like I said. So, um, T. Higgins has been picking up the slack. So, I feel like he's just going to keep continuing on with that. And then he, I like him also for the five uh, receptions. He's, like, four out of five on that one. Then we got Josh Palmer. I like him for the 55.5 receptions. He's 4 out of 5 on that one. He's been kind of stepping up since Mike Williams has been falling back a little bit. Then I like Carr for the 1.5 touchdowns, quarterback from the Ravens. Devontae Adams, I like him for the 0 0.5 for reception touchdowns. And then I also like him for the 90.5 receptions. And also like him for the 7.0 um, recept um, catches, basically. Then Russell Wilson, uh, 200. 18.5 passing yards. It kind of depends on who's playing. Right now, both of his receivers are questionable. Um, Jared Judy was out uh, a while back. Um, and then now, um, I believe Cortland is is kind of questionable as well now, too. So his two top receivers is questionable. So just depends on what that be on. If I feel like if they don't play, guaranteed if they don't play, is taking under on that. But uh, if they do play, I don't know. I'm still – they're playing they're – playing, the Ravens, the Ravens been, I don't know. The Ravens my team, so I don't know kind of what to say about that. But I'm feeling a little leaning on, leading, leaning to the uh, under on this play with Russell Wilson. But that's just the one that is questionable right now. Then we got uh, George Pickens for the 46.5 receptions. They're playing Atlanta. Atlanta give up a lot of passing yards, as we've seen from the couple teams that they've been playing. So those are just the picks that I have for you guys right now. Uh, like I say, every video, 40 likes. I'll give you guys some more picks in the comments. Hope everybody gets some money in this game. Good luck. I'm tired. I'm going to get to bed. Um, try to get this video posted up in a little while. Good luck to everybody tomorrow. Cash out, make some money. Drop some comments down below if y'all got any questions or um, want a little uh, a little help with some picks or anything. Drop down in the comments below. Talk to you, boy. I got you. Good night. Good luck.